just wanted to kind of go over uh, this brushed <clears throat> quad that I built a while back. Uh, it wasn't that long ago, but uh, it was a couple weeks, two or three weeks ago. And uh, just so I just wanted to kind of do an update on uh, what I think of it and everything. So it is a Picnic 120 X racer frame. Um, you can get them on picnicquads.com, and they're awesome, awesome frames. Um, this is the same frame that Dave at Picnic says is his fastest racer, but he just uses just the frame by itself with no uh, bottom plate or anything like that, no standoffs, nothing. He just has just this frame, the mounts, and then he's got like a little FX798 or whatever sitting on top of a size guy. Um, so that's what frame it is. You can buy those. They're like 20 bucks for the frame with some roll bars and stuff. But this one is a little bit more expensive if you get the plates. Um, this is the double tabbed bottom plate. And then the canopy too. You can, I'm not sure if you can still buy them. I believe you can, but that's like six bucks or something. And then this is another like four or five bucks. I'm not sure exactly, but, um, this setup that I have exactly how it is right now is just amazing. I love it. Uh, I've been flying this every day since I built it, and it just surprised me how good it flies. Um, it's the Chali motors from Banggood with the plugs because it has the longer wires, but I cut the plugs off and just solder directly to the flight controller. That's pretty. And then um, hubs and props, and that blue Eosheen. Uh, F3 flight controller and a lemon satellite and the uh, Eosheen MC01 AIO cam and I got a MCPX plug on here or a Nano QX 3D or Nano QX2 they're all the same and uh, the battery I've been using is the Nano QX2 500 milliamp hour uh, this one right here and I did a little bit of uh, I put a little piece of foam tape here and then I put some clear tape around that and then I got a little rubber bumper here because when I was pushing it all the way in it was pushing the button to change the channel on the, on the cam so I got this little bumper stopper here so when it hits the cam uh, the battery doesn't push the button to change the channel. And then I put this foam with the other tape here too to make it a little bit thicker so it's nice and snug when I push it in. It, it'll actually stay in there. It, there's no way it's coming out in a crash. It's pretty hard to pull out. Um, and that way it's super easy to change the battery out. And this is probably like the easiest and best way I've seen on a brush quad to have the battery. Because usually it's like rubber bands or uh, Velcro or a little mini strap or whatever, you know, and it's always just a pain in the butt to change out batteries. But this way is just so simple. Just pull it out and pop the new one in and go. So I like that a lot. And um, you, it'll work the same for you if you're using these standoffs. If you buy a standoff kit, uh, Banggood has them, eBay has them. They're M2 standoffs. And uh, I don't have many left in my kit. But uh, they come in a little case like this, and I got an M3 one too. They come in that same case, and uh, they're really handy to have for building quads. But um, I believe these are 10 millimeter. I'll attempt at uh, measuring them. I guess that'll work. Yeah, 10. 10 millimeter standoffs, M2 standoffs. And a 500 milliamp hour battery just fits in there snug if you put a little piece of foam and tape. So I was using those Jim Fan 65 millimeter props, and they were making the motors extremely hot. So, and it was making the flight times extremely short, like three minutes at the most, and the buzzer would go off. So I put these on, and I'm flying double the time, and still almost the same amount of power. So that's pretty cool. Um, the canopy isn't really necessary, but...
really necessary, but it does make it look a little cooler and uh, it does protect the flight controller and the satellite. Um, I was thinking that with having the satellite antennas just sticking out right here on each side was going to be an issue with range, but I'm able to fly to the end of my street, which is quite a ways down. Um, I would say 100 yards or more, maybe 150 yards. And um, my FPV video is almost crystal clear. It just has a few lines and uh, no dropouts on the receiver at all. So that's good. Um, the This camera, I would definitely recommend getting this camera. Even though it has the plug on the bottom, you can still work around that. If you use the case, then uh, it helps with making the bottom more flat. But if you have hot glue and Plasti Dip and stuff like that, then uh, it shouldn't be an issue for you. I mean, you can see how I've done mine with hot glue and Plasti Dip. And I've crashed many, many times, and it's not going anywhere. I mean, I got a little strap up here holding the antenna to this canopy, so it's in there solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, let's see, what else? These motors have been great for me. I haven't had any go out. Uh, they've kept their power and they don't get hot with these props at all. So they've been working out really good. I, I like them a lot. And they're for $12 for a set. That's a pretty good price. You can get knockoff Hubson motors, you know, off eBay or whatever. For I've seen them for $3.50 a set, you know. And those will work too, just fine, you know, but... I think these have a little bit more power. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I think that's about all I have to say about it. It's just an awesome little setup. It, this is the best brush quad I've ever built, and I've built probably a hundred at least. Uh, if you go back and look at my videos from a year ago or somewhere around there, I mean, I was doing nothing but brush quads. So let's see, uh, I guess I can do a little flight real quick. I don't know, I think this battery might be dead, but that's okay. Because you've already seen this one fly. Look how smooth that is. Battery's almost dead. So yeah, it just flies so perfect. Awesome, awesome setup.